Welcome back to Anderson Acres. It's an overcast day out here and it's actually really kind of cold but that's okay because we're outside anyway so I thought I would just visit the rabbits and take a minute to talk about something that really matters because raising rabbits isn't something everyone does especially if you're not in a rural area. If you're either in a city or a town or you're in a rather densely populated rural area it doesn't happen a lot. Relatively few people actually raise rabbits. Because of this, one person can ruin the experience for everyone. So one person has the ability to get everyone else in trouble. If you become a nuisance to your neighbors, you might find that your town or your municipality or your county bans the raising of rabbits for everyone. So if you start to irritate your neighbors, it might not just be you that pays that price, it might be everyone else in your area who also raises rabbits. Be considerate of your neighbors. So if you have anyone too close to where you house your rabbits, you're going to want to take precautions to make sure those rabbits are not a nuisance. I know rabbits are not noisy, but they can be a little bit smelly and they can be a little bit unsightly if you don't keep up on your cleaning and make sure your rabbits are happy and healthy. All of these things can cause a problem if you have neighbors that either are not too understanding or neighbors that just don't approve of what you're doing. Don't have too many rabbits in the space and make sure they're happy, make sure they're healthy, make sure they look good, keep them clean, and make sure to maintain your rabbitry. If your rabbitry begins to annoy neighbors because of the smell or unsightly appearance, it's possible your neighbors will complain to whoever handles animal complaints in your area. Here it would be animal control, but in your area it might be called something else. Even if you are entirely in compliance with the zoning laws in your area, you might still encounter a problem. You might get to a point where you're not allowed to have rabbits anymore and neither is anyone else. You can be cited for smell, for example, even if you're not doing anything wrong on paper. If your neighbors can smell your rabbitry, you can get cited and you can get everyone in trouble. Even if, not just yourself. If the guy across the road also raises rabbits, but you're doing it inappropriately, you could end up getting him shut down just because the neighbors decide they don't want rabbit trees in their area anymore. It's happened to people that I know, not in our area. We're still fairly uh, fluid with what we're allowed to have. There aren't a whole lot of rules. We kind of live in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> but other people who don't live in the middle of nowhere have been cited and cited when they're not necessarily doing anything wrong. So you want to keep a good relationship with your neighbors anyway. It makes your life easier in the long run, but certainly you want to make sure that you're not doing anything inappropriate or you're not doing anything that bothers your neighbors too much because eventually, even if you're doing everything within the bounds of the law and you're not actually causing a problem, if enough people complain, your county or your municipality or your town or wherever it is you live, can actually decide to ban the raising of rabbits and that's not fantastic you could end up not just ruining it for yourself but ruining it for everyone else in your area so try to be a good neighbor keep your rabbits clean make sure they're healthy make sure there's not really anything anyone can complain about so if your neighbors are complaining they're complaining just because they don't like rabbits and there's not a thing you can do about that but do your best to keep things neat and tidy and smelling clean and fresh. That's what we do so that our neighbor can't complain. And she wouldn't complain anyway, but even if she did, there's nothing actually that she can complain about. Unless she didn't like rabbits. She happens to love my rabbits. But that's about it for us here today. Be a good neighbor. Look after your buns. Remember, they are your responsibility. And you don't want to make your neighbors completely annoyed with you. See you tomorrow.